Hey guys, Pete here with JIS Solutions, and today we're going to go over the steps of joining a table to a feature class in ArcGIS Pro and a common error that occurs. So in my ArcGIS Pro document here, I have a parcel layer and a table. So the parcel layer is simply just a layer showing the parcel boundaries with the parcel number field. In my table, I also have parcel numbers but also a, build, a building field that has account numbers. So basically what I'm trying to do is join the table to my parcel layer just to show what parcels have buildings. This is just some mock data I kind of put together and to show an example of what kind of error could have happened. So let's begin with our join. So if we right click on our feature class, go to joins and relates and click add join. In this example, we're just doing a one-to-one -one relationship. So we're not doing like a one-to-many. So our input is, of course, our parcel layer. The field we're basing that off of is parcel number. Our join table is our table here. And the field we're going to be using is parcel number. And I highly recommend clicking on that validate join button. It's just going to run a quick analysis to make sure that join is going to be successful. In this case, it's not. There's a warning. It says join has no matches. So, so what happened? So let's close out, to, out of that and let's take a closer look at our data. So our parcel attribute data here, if we hover over the parcel number, we can see that the type is a text field with 10, or, uh, 12 characters. Okay, so to fix that, let's go over to table and right click onto it. Go to data export tables. All right, so I have my table. It's going to export into my uh, defaulted geo database for this project. Okay, so importantly, we need to go over here to fields. But first of all, filters is if you wanted to do a, a filter on the data itself, say you just want certain records to go through, you would go ahead and, and um, define that here. But we don't, we're not going to worry about that in this case. More importantly, let's look at fields. So our output fields, um, parcel number, if we go over to properties, you can see here that the type is a numeric field. We need to change that to a text. And the length, we keep this as 12. And make sure that's matching what you have in your original um, uh, field that you're joining to because say like in this case if it's eight and it's not 12 it's going to truncate and again it's not going to it's not going to join so a 12 character text field is what we need to do to match that okay so here's our new table and it automatically added that to our project and let's go ahead and open that table just to confirm we hover over here sure enough it's a 12 character text field, which matches our parcel 12 digit text field. Okay, so let's do that at uh, the join again. So right click again on our feature class, which is our parcel layer, joins and relates, add join, parcel layer, parcel number. This table is the new table and the field is parcel number. Let's go ahead and validate the join. Okay, we scroll down and looks like we have a one-to-one -one join, 29,432 records. So it looks like that was successful. Let's go and say okay. And as you can see here, I'm just gonna descend this so you can see all the records that were joined. So it was 29,000 records. So Anyway, so the, the key takeaway here is, again, is to make sure that your joining fields are, they have the same field types. So if it's numeric, keep them both numeric. If they're text, keep them both text. And also be aware of the, uh, the number of characters onto that. So anyway, as always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if you like this kind of video, I really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.